Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In this episode of the old Jarhead Sawmill Off-Grid, <laughs> instead of the Sawdust Roadshow, I'm not really on the road, folks. I'm at my off-grid cabin, so maybe we gotta call it the old Jarhead Off-Grid Sawmill. I don't know, let me know what you think. But uh, <laughs> in this episode, I'm gonna take some dug fur that was killed by fungus that we then felled for firewood, looked at, and I thought, you know, Maybe I should mill that up. It doesn't look too bad. We're gonna get them up on the sawmill. Now that I have my sawmill in my log yard, I'm excited about that. <laughs> I know it's kind of goofy, right? No, seriously, I'm pretty excited about having my sawmill set up right here in my own log yard. I just gotta someday build a shelter over my mill, so that's coming. But for now, we're gonna get these dug furs milled up, so let's get to it. All right, folks, this log measures 15 and a half inches at the small end. So using my basic rule of thumb, that's about a 12 inch cant. Now I don't want to split this cant and I want two by sixes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take two by sixes out of the jacket boards on both sides, because if I were to split the cant, I'm likely to split the pith. We don't want to do that. So how many two by sixes am I going to get? Drop your comments down below and two, is this going to be any good. This is a fungus kill dug fur. I did notice um, some sap bubbles, which usually indicates a beetle. So not the pine beetle, but it would be some kind of a beetle that attacks fur. Let me know what you think of that. But let me know, is it gonna be any good? Let's find out.
Hey folks, while I'm milling up this Doug fur log here, how would you like to do me a favor? Hit that like button for me. It really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. All right, let's get going. Let's get this thing done. Okay, we're not done yet, <laughs> but I got six two by sixes there and one one by six. Now, those folks are almost full nominal two by sixes. Nominal means the full dimension. Dimensional means what you get later after, you know, if you go to the store and you buy it, it's called dimensional lumber. That would be inch and a half by five and a half inches. This is not quite two inches because I, I like to do what I call milling on the evens. If I'm milling big wood like this, an inch and seven eighths is as good as two inches in my book. So I set my simple set at two inches. I make them six inches wide, but then I set it at two inches. And the key to missing the pith when it's in the center like that is to start at an odd number. Hey, hey super simple. <laughs> and I don't always do that, but when I think about it, I do. And, and I should do it more, honestly, because it makes life easier. But if you think about it, if, you, if you're if you milling two buys, which it's easy when it's on the evens math. So if you're doing two buys, don't set your cant height to 12 inches, set it at 13. Then come down two, two, two. When you get past the pith, which will be in the center of one of those two buys, then you can take a one inch cutout or you can leave it and go right to the one inch off the deck. If you have a big enough log, what you could do is instead of 13 inches, you can go 14 inches. But think about this, 14 divided by two is seven. So in, in essence, the real trick is don't try to get an even number of two buys or one buys out of a cant. Enough blabbering, I gotta get these off the deck so I can get those flitches on there. So let's get to it. I should have set the tractor up over here so I could use it. Oh well, I didn't wanna put the forks on yet. Besides that, I want to lay these out for you so that you guys can see them afterwards and decide whether it was worth it.
I didn't get a two by six out of that one. I was kind of hoping I could, but it was just too much weighing. So I got a two by four. And I got one last two by four with some weighing, but that's okay. Good blocking material. All right, I guess I better make this fast, folks because the cold is eating up my batteries. LifePo batteries or lithium batteries don't like, uh, don't like the cold, folks. Well, there you have it. Oh, wait, I didn't blow it off. Let's get my handy dandy clean off the mill device. <laughs> if you haven't got a DPB 2500, folks, you need one. <laughs> Right on. All right, Let's see if my, <laughs> my mic is almost done. My DJI mic is almost done, but look at that. Gorgeous looking stuff. Just a teeny little bit of checking on the ends. Yes, folks, I think it was worth it. Check it out. This big guy, you know, I just decided to leave it big. 13 inches and we got a one by six. I can cut this one down or leave it big for shelving. I got three two by fours and then I got, what, six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight full dimension two by sixes, three two by fours, a one by six and a one by 13. Was it worth it, folks? I think it was. I gotta stack and sticker all this, clean up the mill and put it away. Believe it or not, folks, it's only three o'clock, but the sun is right on the horizon. It's starting to freeze out here. My cameras are all dying and I'm getting cold. So guess what? Bourbon 30's calling my name and I got an old Jarhead Bourbon 30 mug in there. Check them out down the merch store. They're really cool. Look, folks, I'll drop another video right here for you to check out. I appreciate your watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free and y'all have a great night. The old Jarhead out.